Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this ninth video of labor costing chapter, we are going to cover the last topic of this chapter that is called as the overtime. It's really simple and straightforward. Now in this video, we are going to discuss the concept of this topic and we are going to see a small example. And then in the coming videos, we have to solve two problems on this at least. Okay, so let's just begin this video. Let's understand what is this overtime. Now see here, the concept of overtime is really simple and straightforward. It's just the general term that you all know about, right? But let's just take an example to understand this better. Let's just see the whole picture right now. Let's just say your dad is working in an office and his normal working hours are from 9 to 6 and in between he has lunch break okay so let's just say on a certain day what happened was uh, rather than leaving from work at 6 pm your dad had to work for two hours extra and he left the work at 8 pm okay so two hours extra work he did on that day and that two hours extra work which he did is called as overtime you all know this work done beyond normal working hours is known as overtime work really simple and straightforward any kid knows that now what happened on that day see here understand properly your dad has already worked for the entire day and then he's working two hours extra now that two hours extra is a very you know precious time for your dad isn't it that is his family time his own personal time and he is sacrificing that for the company isn't it so now the company has to give extra payment to your dad is it clear now the payment which will be given to your dad for that overtime is called as overtime payment but you have to understand in that overtime payment there are two elements yeah we can bifurcate that overtime payment into two the first is the normal wages for overtime work yeah two hours he has worked for that two hours he has got normal payment first okay the first element i'm saying he has got normal payment and then whatever sacrifice he did his own personal family time he sacrificed for the company for that reason the company has to give something extra also over the normal payment right and that is technically called in this chapter as overtime premium overtime premium okay just read this see here the rate for overtime work is higher than the normal time rate usually it is at double the normal rate the extra amount so paid over the normal rate is called as overtime premium is it clear okay let's just take an example to understand this fine see the example over here example let's just say we are talking about a worker in the factory wage rate is 50 rupees per hour okay this is the time rate wage rate simple then normal working hours in a day that worker has to work for eight hours in the factory but what happened was on a day actual hours worked by the worker were 12 hours right so you can easily understand four hours extra work has happened so four hours is the overtime work is it clear simple and straightforward and then the question is saying overtime hours should be paid at 2.5 times the normal rate what does that mean it means for that four hours for that four hours the worker should be paid at 2.5 x yeah 2.5 x so how will you calculate what would be the rate would it be 50 rupees only no of course not you have to take 50 rupees which is the normal ordinary rate and multiply it with 2.5 isn't it simple 50 into 2.5 that's equal to 125 right so then they are saying yeah 125 rupees for the overtime right then they are saying find the value of ordinary wages how will you calculate ordinary wages really simple eight hours is the ordinary hours into ordinary time rate eight into 50 that's equal to 400 rupees isn't it really simple see here ordinary wages eight hours is the ordinary time the normal time into 50 the normal ordinary rate isn't it ordinary rate you multiply that you got ordinary wages normal earning but then they have asked see overtime payment also they have asked how will you calculate overtime payment really simple overtime payment is equal to four hours we all know four hours is the uh, overtime over here into what 
into 125 isn't it 50 rupees into 2.5 this 50 you have to inflate isn't it we did now 50 into 2.5 that was 125 so 4 hours into 125 that's equal to 500 rupees is it clear yeah so overall earning is how much 400 plus 500 that's equal to 900 on that day that factory worker has earned 900 rupees but now this 500 we have to break down for the you know cost accounting treatment yeah to do the cost accounting properly we can't just take this 500 as it is no 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 no. we have to break this down because the treatment of overtime premium depends on lots of factors that is why whatever overtime payment we give to our workers from the cost accountant perspective we have to break that down into normal wages for overtime work and overtime premium yeah we have to break overtime payment into these two elements fine so how will we do that it's really simple four hours into 50 four hours into 50 that's equal to 200 that's the normal payment that's the normal payment for the overtime isn't it normal time rate is 50 rupees four hours extra he has worked so four hours into 50 that's 200 yeah ordinary what do you say ordinary payment for overtime not this ordinary wages and huh? this is entirely different this eight hours thing is entirely different i'm talking about overtime itself overtime hours into normal rate that's equal to 200 yeah and then you take the overtime hours into the extra payment over the normal rate yeah how will you do that how will you do the calculation see here it's really simple overtime premium is equal to four hours i'm explaining how did i get this 300 premium four hours okay four hours overtime into 125 minus 50 50 is the normal rate right so you have to remove that from the entire 2.5 that 2.5x rate is there now 125 which we calculated from that you have to remove the normal what do you say the normal time rate okay when you do that 75 is the extra that is being paid isn't it 50 is the normal time rate because of overtime how much extra is being paid per hour yeah how much extra rate is there per hour 75 rupees per hour yeah so 4 hours into 75 that's equal to 300 which is the overtime premium so you understood now overtime payment is the entire thing this entire thing okay then we have to break this down what is the normal yeah ordinary wages for overtime work which we found out as 200 isn't it 4 hours into 50 that's 200 and then 4 hours into 75 is 300 okay we have broken this 500 into two elements one is ordinary and the second one is premium because that understand the treatment of ordinary wages of this 400 and this 200 is same is it clear the accounting cost accounting treatment of 400 and this 200 is same but the accounting treatment of this 300 depends upon lots of factors which we have to see properly now okay so you understood this example properly yeah okay now after this you have to understand the factories act 1948 see here there is a law regarding this overtime thing okay there is a provision in this factories act regarding the overtime see this factories act 1948 says that if working hours are more than nine hours per day or 48 hours per week then overtime becomes applicable okay what does that mean it means let's just say in a week the worker has worked for 50 hours okay then two hours are what two hours are overtime if the worker has worked let's just say for nine hours then there is no overtime factories act says that there is no overtime because per day it's nine hours okay if it is more than nine hours let's just say 9.5 then that 0.5 is overtime hours i'm talking about not rupees hours if let's just say worker has worked for 10 hours then overtime is one hour is it clear here we did now here we did the comparison see here there was no factory sack now directly simple example i took where normal working hours and actual hours are compared right normal working hours in the factory are eight hours and actual hours are 12 hours so four hours are the 
over time. But if they are following the Factories Act, if the policy is like that, then, then you have to see 9 hours limit and 48 hours limit. Okay, if it is more than 9 hours, then only overtime hours are applicable. Here also, if per week, if it's more than 48 hours, 49 or 50 or more, then only overtime is applicable. Okay, let's just take an example to understand this. Uh, wait, but I have to tell you the main thing. The main thing is that when 9 hours are exceeded or 48 hours per week are exceeded, then the Factories Act says that the overtime rate shall be twice of ordinary rate of wages minimum minimum it has to be double it can't be below that yeah let's just say there is a worker who is getting paid for you know uh, for an hour 100 rupees okay so if he does overtime then he has to be paid twice that yeah 200 rupees per hour this is minimum but it will be according to the company's policy it can be 2.5 it can be 3x also okay but it can't be below what it can't be below the 2x it has to be 2x according to the factory set but sometime you know in questions in the exam what happens uh, they don't really follow the factory set there will be company policy so you'll, you might have to solve according to the company's policy but in practical world it will be twice of ordinary rate of wages is it clear okay fine now ordinary rate of wages include yeah they are saying twice of ordinary rate of wages so you need to know what is ordinary rate yeah so ordinary rate is what see here basic wages plus allowances including non-cash allowance okay when you will do the sums you will understand this don't worry but it does not include yeah this ordinary rate when we calculate this we will not include bonus or overtime okay of course overtime will be not included and then employer's contribution to provident fund will also be not included is it clear yeah don't worry you will see this when we'll solve the problem in the next video okay the full-fledged problem now one more thing i had to show you see here let's just say for example company's normal working hours are eight hours okay normal working hours are eight hours overtime hours of the following workers as per the factory act. see these are the workers a b c d e you all know uh what do you say overtime hours become applicable only when it is nine plus hours more than nine hours right so let's just say a has worked for eight hours so has he done any overtime according to the factories act no overtime all this eight hours will be normal hours only okay normal working hours only overtime will be zero he has done 8.5 this also normal hours no overtime why why is it so because it is not exceeding nine hours okay the c guy has worked for nine hours so entire nine is what normal hours even though companies normal working hours are eight still according to the factories act i'm saying not according to the company's policy according to the factories act overtime is zero it has to exceed nine nine hours then only there will be overtime overtime hour will be applicable okay so now see this employee d this worker d has worked for 9.5 hours now out of this 9.5 only nine hours are normal hours according to the factory set right remaining 0 0.5 that would be overtime for this the worker will get overtime payment which will include normal wages and overtime premium do you understand the whole logic now now see this e guy also he has worked for 10 hours in the factory if we see from the factories act perspective out of this 10 only nine hours are normal hours and then remaining one will be what will be overtime for this overtime he will get you know overtime payment which will include normal wages for overtime work yeah at the normal rate plus extra payment overtime premium we call this fine don't worry we'll see the calculation and all when we'll see the full flex sum okay so you understood this really simple okay factories axis just the rate will be twice of ordinary rate of wages and when will we do the calculation according to the factories act you have to understand this uh, we'll do the calculation from both the perspectives if the data is available okay from days perspective as well as from weeks perspective and whichever is higher that one we have to select okay that's the uh, way we have to solve this fine because factories act is in the interest of workers so workers should get more money right so both of these limits will be tested and calculated whichever uh, you know shows the higher calculation higher amount 
that one will be selected is it clear okay now we have to move on to the treatment of overtime premium let's just see the treatment of overtime premium yeah this thing how we have to treat this in uh, cost accounting okay let's just see the overtime premium treatment now see here we have the accounting treatment of overtime premium now in the beginning only i told you that we bifurcate the overtime payment into two elements right and the reason for that is we have to you know do the accounting treatment of this based on different factors right and those factors are the causes what is causing the overtime that is what you have to understand why company is making the workers work overtime yeah what's the reason behind that there can be different reason behind that and for each reason there is different accounting treatment right that is why this overtime payment is bifurcated is it clear yeah so the first cause is yeah due to customers request yeah let's just say some customer comes to us and he sees that he needs this let's just say for example uh you know a garment or any order he needs immediately within one or two days which is not possible in normal ordinary course of business so what we have to do we have to make our workers work overtime to what do you say to fulfill his order isn't it that customer's order so in that case what we have to do whatever overtime premium will be paid to the workers that overtime premium has to be charged to that particular job directly okay it will be direct labor cost of that customer's job is it clear yeah now the second a uh, cause of overtime can be you know normal course of business or for meeting urgent orders which is healthy overtime okay healthy irregular overtime now if this is the cause of overtime then what you can do is you can treat this overtime premium as factory overhead or you can treat it as overhead cost of that particular department which works the overtime you have both the options okay and then the third cause of overtime is there is a mistake by some department see due to fault of another department there was some fault and because of that another department or that department itself has to work work overtime let's just say uh, that department is only working overtime then of course uh, that overtime premium will be charged to that particular department only but now it can happen that there is a fault of let's just say department a and because of that department b has to work overtime in that case you have to understand this overtime premium will be charged to that department only because the mistake is over here they are responsible okay so charged to the responsible department is it clear simple and then due to abnormal conditions like flood earthquake the factory was closed right and then we have to work overtime because to fulfill all the orders and everything on time then in this condition whatever overtime premium overtime premium will be paying that will be charged to costing profit and loss because it's no one's fault it's just the loss for the company okay so we have to charge it to costing profit and loss it's you know overall organization thing and then see the fifth point if overtime is required regularly because of worker shortage then what we have to do regularly if overtime is required it's not what do you say healthy overtime then in that case what we need to do is you know we have to inflate our wage rate see here overtime premium should be absorbed under wage rate which means basically we have to increase the wage rate okay and that increase rate will be called as average inflated wage rate is it clear yeah average inflated wage rate so these were the causes of overtime yeah and then very logical and understanding accounting treatment over here fine so you don't have to remember this just understand this properly and you will easily uh, remember it just like that okay so that's regarding the overtime and overtime premium fine i hope you have understood this if you have any doubts in this please comment down below okay i will try to clear it as soon as possible your doubts and then you can also message me on instagram now in the next video what are we going to do we are going to solve problem on this on this overtime topic right and that video will be under silver club okay fine so see you in the next video bye